On my Twitter page, I've been posting about how Funimation is trying to politicize anime, and here's my personal thoughts on the matter in video formats. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler I'm not really surprised that Funimation is trying to politicize anime Mostly because almost every single aspect of life tends to be politicized Whether it's video games and feminism whether it's movies, whether it's the Oscars, or comedy shows. It seems as though that every single thing that we tend to enjoy tend to be politicized by people who have a lot of spare time in their hand. Now honestly, this is not the first time that Funimation tried to rewrite anime in the past. For example, back in the 1990, they tried to rewrite Dragon Ball Z, they tried to rewrite scripts for like Yu Yu Hakusho, and so in terms of rewriting stuff, this is not the first time that Funimation tried to rewrite stuff to make stuff much more punchier or something that's not close to the original script. The animes that they politicize are Dragon Maid, Prison School, and My Girlfriend is a Gal. And all street anime, they made references towards patriarchy. What are you wearing that for? Oh, those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves. So I changed clothes. Towards SJW millennials. it has been canceled, you guys. Another win for you SJW millennials. To Gamergate. Have you got a stick up your ass? Or are you one of those dumbass Gamergate creep shows? <laughs> and even misogyny and cuck. Are you getting your panties in a twist about now? Sir. Well, ladies, are you ready? Pick out your books yet? I laid out only the best for you, so you really can't go wrong. They're sure to whet your interest. You're crossing a line! You can't make high school girls read that crap! Ah, <sighs> oh, come on, they're just some light novels. They may be light novels, but they're heavy on the creepy sex stuff! <sighs> of course! Where's the fun in forcing these jailbait tricks to read something decent? Plus, most of the freaks who come in here hate women, so seeing girls degraded gives them boners and makes them happy! Well, maybe think about how these girls feel for once. Maybe they don't want to be debased just so you can sell a few more chicken wings to horny losers with mommy issues. <laughs> Check out the balls on this kid. Come in here and lecture me, you dickless cuck. When I watch anime, it doesn't really matter to me if I watch it sub or dub, mostly because I feel as though that people who are dub actors can do a good job, and the same thing applies to sub actors. The only kind of dub that I don't really watch are ones that are really lousy with the voices. In my personal opinion, I feel as though that dub anime should be close to the original Japanese script as possible, with the exception of comedy anime. Even if I agree with the politics, people should not be lecture about political matters unless of course the Japanese script talked about political matters. By adding political matters that were not originally there in the Japanese script, you're doing the creators a disservice when you dub the anime. If you give people incentives not to purchase anime, it will really, really, really hurt the anime industry. The anime industry is a small niche to begin with, so you might not want to mess with the sales and also the potential livelihood of other people.